What is going on YouTube? Welcome back. We're here this morning. We are going to be replacing an indoor evaporator coil. Um, this is a unit that got installed about five years ago and this condenser got struck by lightning. Already got replaced and this is pretty much fried everything on it. And now it turns out after two three years that this got replaced i believe um i came it was low on charge i started throwing soapy bubbles and with the leak detector here on the connections couldn't find anything checked all the condenser coil could not find anything went inside and found the leak on the evaporator coil so this is under warranty they only cover the actual coil <clears throat> so that's what we are going to be replacing not the whole whole indoor so it's gonna be a little bit of work but I'm gonna start uh, pumping this down and uh, go from there all right so we're inside now this is like a little office from the customer it's the indoor it's unwrapping the new coil and uh yeah so as you can see the new nuts and all that stuff should be pressurized you'll be sure there's no leaks on it from factory so i'm gonna start taking the indoor apart and uh yeah let's go Okay, got the unit off the wall into the ground. So I'm gonna start taking off the electrical and see what else I need to take off to be able to pull this, this coil out the way. 
and go ahead and just slap the new one put everything back up there i may redo the flares on the copper and i need to fix the drain uh i don't know why they did some sort of adapter on there and it looks like the tip of that adapter it just it just broke so let me start taking this apart see what i need to remove and uh go from there what you pretty much need is a phillips screw because everything on here is phillips okay i'll put the old set the new one in pretty much just take there's two screws here there's one there and one down here and then you take this one out and I took the cover from the board because I thought I had to remove the board to be able to do that, but no. You just take those two on that side, one on that side, disconnect this ground, take this temperature sensor out, this other sensor out, get everything out the way, and then you just lift the coil straight up. I got it outside right now. I'm gonna show you where I found the leak. This is where I found the leak in this area right here. As you can see, it's all rusty all over this edge completely pretty much all this galvanized metal and my leak detector went crazy on this area right here so you can see it's extremely corroded right there and right there and right there so it did not go crazy anywhere else this is the only spot down here not even up here that's more corroded but down here is where i found it so select the new one in screw everything down and I'm gonna clean up that insulation. I brought some insulation tape right here. This is what I like to use because I can wrap it, wrap it tighter and it works, sticks real good. At the end, you just put some electrical tape wrapped around it so it doesn't come off or just put a zip tie and it works. And it turns out when you put, you use this insulation tape, uh, so this is not that thick, all the copper behind the evaporator coil and all that will fit uh, a little bit more comfortably. You'll be able to snap it on the wall a little bit easier. And as you saw, I got, had to take the communication cable, copper disconnected and everything. So let me put the new one in. And uh, yeah, and I'll show you guys when everything is assembled. All right, so you got everything back up there. Got the system under pressure at 350. You can see, started wrapping it up there, left it right there. And what I usually do, I just cut that insulation like right around there, maybe a little bit further back and just keep using the insulation tape tighter. And as you can see, it ends up tighter and thinner than the Armaflex. So I'm gonna leave it here for 15, 20 minutes. Make sure it doesn't drop anything. I don't hear anything. I'm gonna get up there, I'm gonna put some topi bubbles and see what's up. Um, if it doesn't leak or anything, uh, next thing I'm gonna do is obviously finish up the drain, wire it back up, and uh, assemble everything in here, put it on vacuum, and start cleaning up in here. All right, I got the system in vacuum. So you can see, we, I literally just turned it on a minute ago. We're down a 1800 it keeps going down pretty quick so that's good that's a good sign so while this finishes up i'm gonna jump inside and start assembling everything back reattach the drain wire up the unit and uh, that way i can just leave all that done and i can start cleaning up then i'll come out release the charge and keep going from there